Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Microsoft SQL Server tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the bulk insert statement to import a CSV file. So a lot of time when I see people importing a CSV file, what they usually do is they will select the database and right click and go to uh, import data, then use the data import wizard. And I found that to be very uh, inefficient and as well as sometimes when your uh, character is too long, you need to manually update the character length. So that's why I highly recommend that you use tsql to import a csv file. So if you have a uh, csv file, let me open this file first. From this file, I have four columns. So uh, id column, cd column, state id, and incorporate. Noticing that in column d, my values are true or false, and we need to convert the value to uh, 1 and 0 because when you are importing true or false value, SQL Server will recognize uh, these uh, values as text. So we need to first of all convert those values to 1 and 0. And to do that, I'm going to uh, use the if function. For my logical test parameter, I'm going to just choose the value. Here we're going to say that if value is true, they want to return 1 and if value is false, we want to return 0 and I'll fill the formula now I'm going to copy this formula and want to paste these values so I'll right click and paste special and here under the paste values uh, category I'm going to choose the first one, just values and I'll convert all the formulas uh, back to just uh, regular text now I'm going to delete column E and save this file and close. Now let's go back to SQL Server. So here I have a, I have a uh, SQL statement to create my table. So from this statement, I'm looking at if my database has a table name, name your cities. And if there's a table with the name your cities, then I'm going to drop the table followed by I'll recreate the table your cities and these are the four columns followed by their data type to use book insert statement to input a csv file we want to first type book insert and followed by the table name my table name is uh, your cities so I'll type your cities and found so here we want to uh, provide the, the file path so here I'm going to grab the csv file file path and we need to wrap the file path with single quotations next we want to type width from the width statement we are uh, providing the parameters so my first parameter is uh, format and this is the file format and it's going to be a csv file next we want to specify uh, which row is where the data starts my data set starts from row 2 and to specify the delimiter so I want to use the field terminator uh, parameter and I want to use a uh, comma as my delimiter and to separate each row so I want to use the row terminator uh, parameter and followed by uh, the symbol that uh, I want to use to indicate in each row is its own record and that's it and here let me just do a quick select statement from the your cities table. Now my table is uh, empty. Now if I run my bulk insert statement, and here I can see that 118 records uh, got insert. Now if I run the select statement from my your cities table, and here's my data sets input to my your cities table. So this is I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.